few things can deflate a car driver as much as a flat tire. But what if all you had to do to fix a damaged tire was to let the car sit in the driveway for a while? A team of scientists from Germany has now developed a new type of rubber that can heal itself after a tear or puncture. Modern car tires consist of long strand-like molecules that are tangled and cross-linked. Manufacturers add sulfur to the rubber to give it durability while also maintaining elasticity. This process is called vulcanization. But when a tire is torn or pierced, say by a piece of glass on the street, the chemical bonds break and can't be patched up for long-term use. The tire becomes useless. The scientists from the Leibniz Institute for Polymer Research in Dresden, Germany made the new type of rubber using a method that avoids vulcanization altogether. They modified commercial-grade rubber with a carbon and nitrogen additive to produce a highly elastic rubber that can reform its broken chemical bonds on its own and grow back together. The researchers say they found their rubber was at least as strong as conventional rubber. Scientists have attempted to develop self-healing rubber in the past, but many of the prototypes produced couldn't achieve long-term stability. This study's researchers say their tests have shown that the new type of rubber can heal itself at room temperature. So a car tire could fix itself while just sitting parked in a garage. Heating the material to 212 degrees Fahrenheit shortly after the cut made the rubber heal even faster. And after 8 days, the rubber was capable to withstand stress equivalent to 20 times the normal amount of pressure on a tire.